in our 16th year of the tagging program, and, and we've, we've collected enough quality data in over enough years that now some of the fishery management groups, different agencies are coming to us and asking to use that data, the sea eye data. Last year, we tagged almost 20,000 fish. We tagged about 20,000 again this year. Our target species are fish that almost nothing was known in Virginia about the movement patterns of those fish. Fishermen knew, and people could tell each other where they are. You know, they're on the flats. They're up the bay, down the bay. Well, that information is, is accurate and correct and useful, but it's not hard data, and hard data is what regulation changes and management decisions are based upon. What you're contributing to now is the hard data, and, that, and that's what this program is about. Our data has shown that of all the recaptures of tautog that were tagged in Virginia, only two fish out of 1,900 recaptures have ever been reported north of the Maryland-Virginia line in the ocean. And so when the New England states who have overfished hogs severely went to the Atlantic States Marine Fisheries Commission, their pitch was, why can't you give us some of the Virginia quota because the stock is in good shape there and those fish will move up and down the coast and they will help rebuild our fishery up here. Well, the tagging program showed that that tall tall do not move north of uh, Delaware Bay. We were able to hold off that move to possibly result in some reduced bag limits and catches for you because of that. These fish orient to their environments in a way that we're only beginning to get a little inkling of. We'll never totally understand it. And I guess that's why they call it fishing, not catching.